SP169. Item number SP169. Object class Keter. Special containment procedures. Because of its size, SP169 cannot and almost certainly will never be contained. No structure on Earth is large enough or strong enough to contain SCP-169. The location of SCP-169 is not precisely known, but imaging satellites and analysis of eccentricities in the Earth's orbit suggest SCP-169 is located in the southern Atlantic Ocean, possibly stretching from the tip of the South America. Any satellite footage of a shift in the land mass is produced by SP-169 is to be excised and destroyed by embedded agents. Description. SP-169 is surmised to be a marine arthropod of enormous size, known as the Leviathan, by generations of sailors in oral history. Presumed to be at first to be a myth, SP-169 was detected on redacted by Mobile Task Force Gamma 6 during an investigation of paranormal activity around the Redacted Archipelago. Coordinates redacted <laughs> during. I, I guess that's the Gamma symbol? Gamma 6 investigation, Dr. Redacted. Gamma 6 0912 discovered the archipelago and have moved at least three kilometers from its original location. Though initially Dr. Redacted pleaded the motion to be due to unusually quick continental drift and reconnaissance mission performed by the USSS Redacted revealed that archipelago would be protrusions of rock-like plates covering an enormous organic mass. The Foundation was brought in immediately to begin threat management. Dr. Redacted and Dr. Redacted Gamma 6 0 421 SP 169's body length to be between 2,000 and 8,000 kilometers. The creature is thought to have existed since the pre Cambrian era. No other specimens have been sighted. Almost nothing is known about SP 169's habits, such as re reproductive capabilities, if any, food source, and nesting area, if any. Research regarding SP 169 is pending approval. The archipelago known as the Redacted Islands have historically been uninhabited, though claimed by Redacted and Redacted. Upon handover to the Foundation, Redacted's presence was evacuated on the pretense of rising sea levels. Though the archipelago has remained above sea level for several millennia, millennia any change of death by SP-169 could result in the disappearance of an entire archipelago. SCP-169 moves slowly, less than one kilometer per week, but seems only to be adrift. Its method of propulsion is unknown. Regular seismic tremors seem to indicate breathing about every three months, causing minor shifts in the island's terrain, suggesting that the creature is probably dormant. Information suppression. The USSS redacted was scuttled with all hands immediately after the discovery of SB-169 with permission in the American government. Public is forbidden from entering archipelago created by SB-169 due to conveniently large number of resident endangered bird species. As indicated above, satellite footage is to be doctored in order to suppress knowledge of SB-169's movements. NASA is currently cooperating with Foundation in order it out for renovation and keeping access of SCP-169 quiet. It is currently permitting the Foundation use their, of the, of their satellites for photographic use. Well, I mean, I have a lot of S I have SCPs in the videos, so a lot of those will disappear eventually. Plus, a horror game I want to try eventually. But anyways. I get continue with that SCP. Addendum 0 20. In, in 1990, redacted, the USS, the US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, an American scientific agency unaffiliated with, with and unaware of the existence of the Foundation. That's not how your computer can take all this. It's actually not normal. I, actually, it's kind of normal. 
Two with an ultra low frequency underwater sound and a medium from around redacted, approximately redacted kilometers from the southwestern coast of South America. Despite the best efforts of the embedded agent redacted, IA 1522, news of, of the sound leaked to the media, receiving specific media coverage, foundation analysis concluded with that a massive underwater organism was the source of the noise, and SCP-169 was hypothesized to be the source as its head is well within the possible locations of the rest of SB-169. The sound confirms Gamma-60421's hypothesis that SCP-169 is gargantuan in size, future efforts to locate the organism have been abandoned. Gamma-60421 is gargantuan in size, future efforts by scientific or civilian teams to determine the source of the noise must be stopped by any means necessary. Alright. Alright. So first off, before we start, we can actually check the clickbait title. Why am I getting a notification Discord? Oh, it's just a V2 video. Never mind. Anyways. Not what I wanted. Oh my god, computer. I clicked OBS, not V2 Studio. Anyways. Alright. So. Wait, is this? That's not it. Why is that there? Oh my gosh, it didn't save. God damn it. Give me a moment. Going to murder my computer. Not computer, OBS. Anyways. Alright. Click big thumbnail. Oh wait, hold on. I mean... I don't think so. I mean, we don't know what the found- uh, what it looks like. We don't know. We just know it's a, it's a large organism. So, I don't think it's that clickbaity. What do you guys think? For first time, it's not very clickbaity. Trust me, we will have clickbait thumbnails soon. Yeah, I don't think so. Yet. Yeah, okay. Alright. So, that's good. We actually got our first zero. Yay. All right. Everyone ready to actually see the, the video? Oh, wait. First, we need to see something. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. We're actually going to... Wait, because someone's actually going to come in soon. Let's see if they put the Creative Commons license. They did! Holy shit, they actually did. I kid you not, this is rare. This is actually rare. Okay, so that's good. All right. Now, as as we're waiting for our next member to join in to help us with this, removal of characters counts as we're getting rid of women, um, gays, stuff like that, or characters just outright in place of new ones. That happens a lot. <laughs> And only men in the video- I kid you not, the rubber does this a lot. Where they only have men. I kid you not. I had to put that there. That's why they're separate. And deviates from the plot in the article. Basically saying, like, all of a sudden, sudden, instead of, like, doing the containment procedures first, it goes straight to the end of the article. Then back to the beginning. Then near the end. The stuff like that. Basically, not at all organized. No organization, basically. 
and added gore and violence, like making it way too more violent than it should be. Because I kid you not, there's some safe classes that were made keters in some of these videos. I kid you not. It's happened. Does anyone have any questions? Because we might have to start off without them. Any questions? Not really. Okay. I guess we can start off without them. Because I don't see them in yet. Alright. We start in the video and... Let me repeat this again. I do not own this. It's owned by Fresh Lucius. I wish I heard can sometimes be worse than the rubber. So I just want to see it for myself. Alright. In three, two, one. Wait, hold on. There we go. Make it a bit louder. In three, two, one. SCP-169, also known as the Leviathan, the ancient sea dragon who ruled the deep, alongside Behemoth, the land. I already have a problem. I'm not gonna say it. I will wait till the end of the video. Okay. And monster who ruled the land. They would both be served up as quite a delicious meal at the end of days. Wait. This SCP predates known records and has been documented as religious mythology prior to the forming of the Foundation. Once thought to be a story, its location is thought to be in the Atlantic Ocean, possibly surrounding the tip of South America. Good evening, and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host as always, Professor Lucius. Tonight, we look into SCP-169. A large archipelago of islands was discovered to have a biomass residing underneath it. SCP-169 could, in fact, be these islands rather than resting beneath it. It's also possible these islands have somewhat grown on its back over millennia. Estimated size of SCP-169 is 2,000 to 8,000 kilometers. It is currently unknown whether it reproduces, though historical data has claimed it to be both female and male. Religious documents state that it is male, as the female was killed in order to halt any possible reproduction, which could result in an end-world situation. Current estimates show that SCP-169 moves approximately one kilometer a week and seems to be adrift. Small seismic events approximately every three months appear to be due to it breathing. We assume it's currently dormant and possibly asleep. Ancient documents provide more information. According to these documents, when it's hungry, it can breathe fire hot enough to boil the water surrounding it. Its daily diet was to include one whole whale per day. The smell of the creature is so terrible that nothing close by could survive it. Its eyes are as bright as the sun, casting an eerie illuminating glow on the water. However, despite its size and strength, it fears a small worm known as a killbit that clings to a fish's gills and can kill it. Records point to historical data regarding the Devil Whale as being SCP-169, the Leviathan. The Arabic document, 1001 Nights, relates the story of the sailor Sinbad and his encounter with an island which was actually 
Leviathan. In this context, it is referred to as the Devil Whale. In 1820, the whale ship Essex was attacked by a Devil Whale and sunk. The ship was a few thousand kilometers off the coast of South America when they witnessed a large object floating on the surface of the water. The ship had already sustained severe damage due to storms and the men feared the bad omens. Upon approaching the large creature, it suddenly rushed toward the ship and hit it with enough force to damage the boat. After some moments, the creature moved once again to the front of the ship and what? once again proceeded to attack the ship, this time with enough force to crack the hull of the ship. It then disappeared into the depths. The Essex soon sank and its crew were forced to find land using one of their smaller boats. Current Foundation efforts in regards to SCP-169 are to contain any information regarding Leviathan while containment and control procedures are planned. Leaked data such as seismic data, landmass movements, and unauthorized movements into the surrounding waters are of top priority. However, Foundation scientists have been tasked with finding the mythological kill bit in the event that SCP-169 becomes active. Current excavation efforts in the Mediterranean Sea have provided hopeful leads that a fossilized kill bit might be found, and through DNA resurrection, a viable weapon may be extracted. What? Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Don't forget. Where did they get the kill bit from? Where did they get the kill bit from? It was not stated anywhere in here. Oh my god, what the fuck did I walk into? You walked into something else. Alright. Okay. It was the redacted bits. <laughs> Alright. So they, get, they didn't get rid of the license. But they did remove characters. Literally, none of the characters in the story were mentioned. None of them. And none, none of them in the video. Alright. So. Hmm. They did add the license. I'm guessing three out of four. Because they didn't, you know, they didn't add the characters. And they added, they added shit. And hold on. Let me see. Hold on, do they only have male characters? Well, no, they, they had the, f the female right here. They had the female. I guess that would count. So I would say zero for that, which is so far good. What doctors were part of the article? Um, it wasn't really doctors. It was the Mobile Task Force Gamma 6. Uh, well, there was a doctor. It was Gamma 60912. And Gamma 60421. Neither were added. Even though they were the ones finding out about it. 
finding out about the anomaly. I couldn't tell because it was there. two doctors yet. Two doctors weren't added. Added gore and violence. Nowhere in the article did it talk about attacking anything. Nothing at all. He added that in there. That's a straight up four. They added, they added a bunch of violence near the end. Um, deviate from the plot of the article. I'm going to say three. I'm only saying three. Yeah, it doesn't show signs of aggression in the article. Even though it's a keter, it, it just moved slightly. <laughs> yeah. It's so I suggest it could be bad for dead. Yeah. Also, I'm seeing deviate from the point of the article because it did contain some things in the article in order. But it added a whole bunch of shit that wasn't even there. So I'm going to say three. All right. Time to do math. Twenty. Okay. All right, so that's fifteen, fifteen, twenty. That means honestly, not as bad. I only had a 50% because two of the big problems, which is clickbait pro thumbnail and only men in the video, weren't a problem in the video. So it's it's not as bad as the other. 